Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, Planet 7X Theory. Coming March 26, 2016. That's, that's coming up next Passover. Passover. Gil Brazard, an amateur astronomer, is predicting that Planet 7X, this is the day that it comes into the closest that it will be to Earth. He believes this could create a major apocalyptic event. And because he bases it on current world events that have happened, excuse me, on historical events that happened, sightings of a strange signs in the skies and the effects of it historically throughout the Bible, matching with ancient records recorded by the Chinese and the Europeans of the same time period. And we're talking about Jonah and the whale situation there at Nineveh, talking about the fireballs that fell from heaven with, uh, with uh, Joshua. We're talking about the sundial being moved back. Now, folks, this, this I had him on, there you see it, 68,000 views. Now, he was on last December the 7th. December the 7th, he came on, the astronomer Gil Brazard, and talked about this Planet 7X theory. In that discussion, while we had him on the air, he talked about what's going to happen. There you see it. That's when the intersect of the Earth and Planet 7X will be at its closest point will be on Saturday, the Sabbath, Passover, March 26, 2016. But before we ever get there, folks, you need to know that uh, Planet 7X also has to first enter into our our solar system, all right? So here we go. Uh, quickly, here is the sun, Mercury, of course. The Earth is rotating as well. And as planet 7X starts to come into focus here, and I'm going to back this up just a little bit to give you a little bit better look here, all right? So you have the Earth. This is the this is the actual orbit of the Earth. This is the Earth's orbit right here, the green line, all right? As it orbits around the sun. This is the projected path of planet 7X and its orbit around the sun. It comes by approximately every 334 years, give or take. Sometimes it's 319 years, sometimes it's 360 some years, but give or take on an average According to the calculation of uh, Gil Brazard, approximately in that ballpark. Now, what he's done is calculated based on current uh, 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 biblical events that historically have happened and what the book of Revelation talks about, of course, as it relates to the sixth seal. And here's what he's projecting, that today, August 10th, today, the fiery red dragon, the old serpent, if you will, but here's what he's saying. Planet 7X right there, or the dwarf star, or planet X, whatever you want to call it. Today, it intersects with the orbital plane of the Earth. Today. Today. Will we be able to see it? He says no, because the Earth is way over here on the other side, so the sun is blocking our ability to see planet 7X as it enters our solar uh, orbit. All right, but in the next 76 days, there will be a situation developing that the sun will, that the uh, planet 7X will begin to move around the sun. And by the time we get to the 26th of March, there's where the intersect will be. Literally, they, they, we're not going to hit, okay? This is important. Planet 7X and the Earth will not collide, but we will be at our closest point right here, all right? This will be the closest point that we'll be to the Earth, which he says about 40 days prior to that, Planet 7X may actually be visible. You can call it Planet 7X, he does. You can call it Planet X, you can call it Nubiru, uh, but this is what his theory is. Now, it's a theory, and he even gives himself an eight-year window because he says, of course, you can't exactly nail 
uh, planet 7x down to the day, or excuse me, to the year because of its orbital plane. But based on where the stars will be, based on where the Earth will be, based on the timing of the, uh, and he has new information now that he wants to share. I'm asking him to be on the show today. Oh, uh, he's actually given a, a speech in Virginia. And he's going to try to break away from that thing just to come on our broadcast. Because today's the day. Today's the day that it enters right here into our orbital uh, in, into our orbital plane right here. Today, August 10th, 2015. And between now and Passover of next year, Planet 7X will be moving in closer to the Earth. Will we become, when will we see it? That's going to be a question we're asking. Gil, when will we see it? Can we physically see it? Is it being hid from us by NASA? Why did NASA quit talking about Planet X in 1992 and never discussed it again? What is it that they know that we don't know? So we're going to try to get those answers today, August 10th. 2015. Do not miss our live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. And for the next three hours, we'll discuss this and many other events going on right now around the world. And and uh, bring on, try to bring on Gil Brizard to give us some kind of understanding of what's just taken place today and how confident he feels about that. And any new information that me, he may have uh, discovered since the last time we had him on the air. This is a very in intriguing theory. Again, it is a theory, but it's one that's been um, studied for over four years by Gil Brizard, including looking at ancient records in China and in Europe and comparing them, overlaying them historically with the Bible's major events and how that each time, Planet 7X, Planet X, Nubaru, potentially was going by, creating, God using the universe, because God is the creator of the universe. Is this actually, have we begun today, or should we look for this window that has an eight-year window? We'll just, we'll ask Gil. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Give your life to Jesus Christ, because we don't know the day nor the hour of the Lord's coming, now do we? I mean, nobody knows the day nor the hour, but certainly... The Bible says there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring and men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming upon the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. When you begin to see these things come to pass, then look up, lift up your head for your redemption is drawing nigh. Why? Because then shall you see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with power and great glory. I'm telling you, folks, we're in the last days. 